Hello everyone. Uh, this is part three of my uh, Civ 5 game as Byzantium. Uh, this is resuming on part or turn rather 299. In uh, previous parts, uh, I managed to get a religion with the uh, two uh, belief uh, items that I happen to like. Uh, that uh, that gives me um, the pagodas and mosques. I believe that's what I got. Uh, it's been uh, a, well a little while since. Uh, I uh, recorded uh, parts one and two. Um, okay. Ooh, we have barbarians over there. Um, right. So I definitely uh, don't want to lose my uh, worker there. So I'll let the I'll let that. Uh, sort out there. Uh, I definitely want the dies, but I don't want to lose my um, worker, um, which I would have. So anyway, take a pot shot at the hand axe there. Oh right, the uh, worker needs to have orders too. Oh, and look at that. The uh, hand axe is attacking the city. Um, in previous games, I actually haven't had the uh, barbarians uh, actually attacking cities so much. They just wander back and forth uh, around the uh, city area and not bother attacking. Uh, but, you know, the fact that they do attack, that does pretty much explain... Uh, how you can end up with a uh, barbarian uh, held city. Uh, hopefully that uh, next turn will be enough to uh, do for that uh, barbarian there. Okay, what to build over here? I'm thinking a water mill would be a good one. Uh, that's more food and plus one production. So I've got a uh, fairly slow um, build-up going here. Uh, which uh, means I'm going to have some catch-up to do later in the game. But that's not as much of a problem as it would be on a regular pace game uh, losing 10 or 20 or even 30 turns on a marathon game doesn't really set you back as much as it might although you could lose a wonder that you want or something like that anyway let's try and improve the dies there I need to get my uh, gold production back up above uh, zero as well, uh, definitely. Uh, now what was I researching? Oh yes, I'm researching philosophy. So um, I, I want that because I want the oracle, which is a free social policy. Uh, it looks like in a short time here, I'm going to get a social policy actually. Uh, here we go. There it is. Right. So, this one means that uh, I get a settler immediately. Uh, this increases uh, imp the settlers or the workers' rate 
or I could open up tradition which gets me uh, free garrisoning uh, if I for the next one down um, but, uh, realistically I should probably rush for a reformation but uh, I'm actually going to now I'm gonna go for uh, the Reformation belief if I uh, get there fast enough and I get lucky I'll get the there's two possible beliefs in there that are uh, really good one is tourism from all faith purchase buildings which uh, would be good given my uh, uh, the fact that I have the faith purchase buildings uh, that I'm constructing and the other is being able to purchase any uh, great person with faith come in the industrial era without having to open up uh, a, f a complete like five different uh, um, five different policy trees uh, okay, so I have a pagoda there. I have here. You know, I'm I'm gonna build pagodas first because they're too happiness, and that uh, I definitely need the happiness so that my uh, empire doesn't uh, get uh, stymied. Okay, so that's uh, pretty... Uh... Oh, right, this guy's got the uh, Blitz promotion, right. So I'm going to deal with that pretty quickly here. Then I'll have to go back. Um, wait a minute. Uh, I have iron. Uh, do I have iron working? Okay, that's cleared. Well, I'll just have to uh, see if I get an upgrade on that. I don't have an upgrade offered, so... I must not have done iron working yet. Yeah, I haven't. Okay, so I want to take out that one as well. Okay, there's uh, philosophy. Okay, yeah, I didn't do iron working. Horseback riding or construction. Construction gets me the Colosseum. Mathematics gets me hanging gardens potentially. See, I think iron working would be a good idea. As you can see, the March promotion here is uh, really nice for uh, for units because uh, they heal while they're going to the next uh, spot. And now we'll get the Oracle underway here. Uh, hopefully I'm first to uh, philosophy or near first and I've got good production going on in uh, Constantinople there because uh, I definitely want the uh, Oracle.
Okay, so that's a monument there. Uh, let's see. Temple gives me faith. Um, what I need is something to uh, get me production. Uh, oh yes, I'm also going to want to mine the iron there. Uh, I'm going to go for a granary there. So as you can see, I don't have a lot of production-based tiles immediately in, in at Antioch there nor do I have a lot of them here. Uh, so that's going to slow down my uh, empire growth. Uh, things are better over here. Okay, so let's uh, go after the barbarian here. Generally, it's a good idea to clear barbarians, uh, collect that uh, gold reward for clearing the encampments. And if you've got honor open, collect the uh, the rewards for uh, the culture rewards. Okay, so def co cover two, I think, is a good idea. Uh, since that uh, is defense against uh, ranged attacks. Uh, there, I think there's got to be a an encampment down here somewhere. There's definitely one up there, so I'll go for that one. What would be good is uh, to uh, get a city where I can actually uh, work these uh, stone resources. So I think my next city is going to be two, three, four, probably here. No, probably not. Probably here. I might actually take that settler um, uh, uh, policy uh, the uh, next time around. Okay, a couple turns and I'll be able to go after that encampment up there. Oh look, it's another spearman. Okay, here we go. This gives you a fair notion what a uh, fully promoted unit can do, given that this is a plain old warrior going after a spearman. Which isn't much stronger than a warrior, but still, it does make uh, make quite a difference with the promotions, especially given that the in the encampment the barbarian units are fortified, so they actually are quite a bit uh, stronger. Okay, so somebody um, somebody went for tradition and managed to build the. Uh, Hanging Garden, which is a nice wonder if you do go tradition. Uh, it's uh, I think it's plus five food for the city, 
which is certainly nothing to sneeze at. So there's an encampment over there that I'm going to go after as well. Maybe uh, get my uh, gold up to 1160. I'll just buy the settler to uh, go and uh, fill in here. Hopefully uh, the uh, Arabs here, is it? Uh, don't uh, come out here first. And they'll probably complain about me uh, settling land that they think is theirs. But it's not great land, given that it's mostly desert. And grassland forest. I think uh, this turn here, I'll look in on, on Cont Constantinople and just see. Uh, okay, so if I go to production focus, it knocks seven turns off the Oracle. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. It's worth uh, doing that just to uh, avoid uh, getting sniped if you can. And I'll improve the iron. I'm definitely going to need that six iron there, and I'll definitely want that six iron there eventually. Uh, but the, I want a city here so that I, if I put a quarry on all three of these stone, I'll get the faith from them. Okay, so mine the iron there. Also increases the uh, uh, production on the tile. Okay, I'm up for a faith purchase here. Uh, I'll put up another pagoda. Uh, they're nice. Uh, these two religious buildings are nice because you get faith, culture, and happiness to some degree from both of them. And in the early eras, they're relatively inexpensive. So they actually pay for themselves relatively quickly. And the uh, additional benefits you get from them make it worth um, uh, the uh, cost, even if they didn't quite pay for themselves in terms of faith generation. It certainly helps on the culture front to get that extra four culture per city. And the extra three happiness per city makes a huge difference as well for a, for a large empire. All right, that's two movement points to deal with that hill, so that's why. Uh, right, this turn I should clear that encampment. There we go. Now I'm looking to see if there's another one uh, obvious nearby. Any of my cities here. I don't see one. And I note that uh, barbarians are spawning slower and I think that's because I've got the happiness out of the tank there. Uh, let's see. Right. On we go. So I need to do some more exploring in the local area here. All right, I should uh, deal with this one over here.
So apparently your units don't heal while they're embarked. I don't understand the reasoning behind that. Uh, I understand why ships don't heal. But... Okay, so that one was cleared probably by one of the city-states. So I'll check the other one there. That one is there. Okay. So I'll clear that one. Um, why is my gold going up? So, okay, some of it's from religion. Okay. Um, so I'm getting six gold from the tithing on the religion. That's uh, actually quite useful. Okay, so that one's cleared. That's some more gold, more culture. So I'm going to take a look and see what's up around here. So I'm using the warrior here now for scouting. Uh, mostly because it's a stronger fighter. So uh, if I run into anything, I have a better chance of uh, surviving it. Oh, somebody's targeting an encampment. Where is it? Oh, it's way over there. Okay. Let's see if this wraps around. So I have to let this guy heal anyway. And I might as well do it while marching around and actually getting some benefit from it. See what's up here past Panama City. Okay, I've got me a worker here. Um, right. Okay, so the question is, do I start linking my uh, cities up in the trade network? Or do I uh, improve the wheat resources here? I think I'll go for the wheat resources. So that's floodplain wheat. That's nice for food. Okay, so that's uh, production there. Uh, granary. Granary gives us plus two food, and we can, and also additional food for uh, wheat. So that's worth it there. Otherwise, I would have gone with the water mill there, which uh, would come with production. Okay, so let's see what's up along there. Okay, I'll farm that. And there's iron working. Oh, there's a barbarian up here. Okay, I'll take the barbarian out. Okay, that's iron. Good. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to mine the hill. Uh, okay, what to research? Uh, construction, I think, would be, uh, be the... Uh, Yeah, construction, uh, so that I can uh, build uh, coliseums for uh, happiness in the empire. Um, I'm going to need that soonish. Okay. Oh, bugger. It dies down to one hit point. Okay, so I'll mine that. That gets me uh, pretty much the maximum production I'll get from the nearby uh, tiles. Um, what if, and it's working on uh, the uh, growth aspect, actually, uh, which is probably good. Uh, so I'll clear that.
Okay, well that's a good way to escape a land unit, actually. Uh, if there isn't a dangerous uh, ship sitting around there, uh, diving into the water means the land unit can't attack you there. Um, I'm not sure if the amphibious promotion would uh, let you do that. I haven't actually tried that. Um, right, okay, I can buy with faith. Uh, okay, my uh, religion is here. So, go for a pagoda. So I'm up to six happiness now. That gives me some breathing room for cities growing. Right, okay, let's see what we can see here. And as we can see, the land doesn't actually wrap around there. But what we can do is just embark across to this land here. We know it's there, so we can just go ahead and embark uh, across to it. The question is whether we can get through there in a sensible manner. Because that is uh, an ocean tile. Okay, so we're going to have to go around the long way there. I know there's land here though because we can see the edge of it in the fog. So we'll just go around. We would have had to go around on land anyway, just the difference is we're not healing and this will be slightly shorter. Okay, next turn I should be up on land. I might have been able to get through this way. It's You can't see what's past there. Okay, we got the oracle. That's nice. No, it couldn't get through that way. And we would have got attacked by the galley, so that wouldn't have been so good. So free policy. Um... We'll finish out the Reformation. And what have we got? Both options are still there. Sacred Sites gives us tourism uh, right off the bat, uh, and that can be quite helpful. And uh, to the glory of God is what allows us to purchase any great person with faith. Um, now, if you're aiming for a cultural victory, the Sacred Sites one is actually really useful, uh, especially if you got the pagodas and moss or, or two um, faith purchase building beliefs, or three if you got lucky, uh, because then you can get f four tourism per city uh, that... Uh, your religion is in and that will be most of your cities in the early game and that will even if your cities convert to another religion later you still get that faith because it was purchased um, and then there's other beliefs that allow you to purchase educational buildings with faith and that would also count uh, this is really useful uh, to uh, change the mid to late game great person equation. I'm going to go with sacred sites this time around. And there you go. I've got four uh, faith buildings and now I'm up to eight tourism already. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try for Colossus. That gets me a trade route in Constantinople. Um... Uh, but it also means somebody else doesn't get it. Uh, it's not a big loss if I don't get it. Um, I just would prefer to have it. Uh, it's not going to harm anything to have it. Okay, so there's some barbarians over here. Uh, that have been getting beat up on by somebody. Now, off in the water, huh? 
Well, the camp is still there. Might as well go after it. Okay. Enemy over here. Right. Okay, so I do want to improve the cotton here at some point. So I'm going to have to actually build my uh, a military up a bit here. Okay. Work on that uh, encampment there. And uh, take some more pot shots at this spearman, which is coming out of a, an encampment somewhere nearby, probably, probably in the fog there. Otherwise, we'd be able to see it. It's unlikely that it came from over here. Okay. Um, right. I can do a policy here, so I'll take the uh, settler policy. Um, I'm going to work on that uh, camp there. Promotion. Uh, strength against... Uh, okay, we'll go for the rough terrain uh, upgrade there. Um, yeah, I can't send that settler out without some sort of a uh, guard, so I'll uh, send uh, the warrior down there. I'll let the settler hang out for a turn or two up there. And I'll just ha take this phone call right away here. Okay, phone call complete. And there is a massive stack of barbarians here, but we'll clear the encampment, and that means more of them shouldn't show up. Uh, yeah, I'll start working the settler down to the uh, tile I want it on. Let the warrior work its way down. Okay, there's construction completed. Okay, so I'm going to take out the uh, horseman, and then I'll take out the um, uh, warrior brute, I guess. Uh, the uh, barbarian brute is pretty much equivalent to a uh, regular warrior. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll get the the horseback riding out as well. Now I'm going to have to do something about this encampment as well. Uh, okay, so that's going to be dealt with real soon now there. That was a, quite a nest of barbarians there. Um, Right, okay, so the settler should be basically safe to proceed now. Unless there's a loose barbarian over there already. Okay, okay, that's cleared. Good. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, at this point, I think it's a good idea to start... Uh, 
linking my uh, cities up especially since uh, what is it construction is it or is it engineering gives you the bridges I can't remember um, right take some okay that clears that one up that's good oh somebody's cleared it already that's nice the uh, Arabs cleared it okay so I'm gonna work my way down there and just explore a bit over there and I decided that was the uh, one I want one two three one two yes that was the one I wanted um, I'm going to uh, stash the uh, um, warrior there uh, right okay so far so good uh, let the size of the city there grow a bit now uh, right let's just take a look I'll improve the wheat tile that's uh, desert wheat not ideal not the best but it's still uh, beneficial since the granary will have benefits on that so I'll uh, build the city here and uh, start out with a shrine uh, and then uh, cue the Arabs complaining about settling too close uh, we'll just say we'll refrain from settling near um, I'm not planning to put another settler but I definitely wanted a city there uh, so we have the most wonders of anybody. That's kind of nice. Uh, and I have found Polynesia. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm not going to be going much further that way. So I'll uh, send my uh, warrior back uh, across the water, I think. Ah, right. I was going to improve the wheat okay so with Varna here uh, nobody else will be able to uh, and nobody else is likely to even attempt to uh, settle um, to settle in the way there uh, yeah we'll do the embassy thing why not um okay there's there's Honolulu oh and he, he they, he's built a pontoon bridge uh, I'm guessing there's uh yeah there's land directly across so and I can purchase with faith excellent one two three so now I'm going to put moss. Is I you can't buy these buildings unless your religion is there. So I'll uh, do the mosques uh, in the cities now until my religion here spreads to Varna. Now there is one uh, aspect of the religious buildings uh, giving tourism. Uh, is that if your city is captured and then you recapture it you lose the tourism bonus on those buildings so that is something to be aware of you definitely want to defend your uh, uh, cities as if you didn't want to defend them anyway uh, you know, yeah, seriously uh, kind of a pointless statement there uh, right. Somebody got around to fi founding a pantheon.
Okay, so we'll uh, keep on trucking here. So this is a good reason for uh, picking up the embarkation, even on Pangea, uh, because oftentimes it's faster to take a straight shot across the water than to fiddle around going around the land. And sometimes it lets you get around obstacles as well. So I'm going to have horseback riding real soon now. Okay, which way do I want to run this? So it's one, two, three. It's three no matter how I do it. I'll come out to here. And then it's a straight shot down to, to Varna. And... Uh, Well, I'm not sure that's how I'll get down there, but uh, anyway. Okay, so there's horseback riding. I need to go after this guy. So that double attack can uh, really make short work of things. Uh, I'm going to go with mathematics here. Okay, so Varna's adopted Buddhism now, so that means uh, I can build my buildings there too. I'm looking for uh, encampments. I found one, so I'll send my uh, warrior up there. Really should upgrade him to a swordsman, actually. I have enough gold to do that, so that would be a, a good option, actually. So here we go. Upgrade to a swordsman. I'll upgrade this one as well. Uh, since I have the gold, I don't want to get too far behind on those because then it gets expensive catching it up later. Because you have to go through every step along the way for the upgrading. So this part may be slightly shorter than uh, normal. Um, simply because uh, I am going to have a uh, an interruption. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when. So when that happens, uh, I'll end the part uh, since I'm at 45 minutes already anyway. Uh, I'm getting pretty close to where it would be uh, calling it apart anyway. It's no, not much point pausing things and then starting it up again. Yeah, finished building a granary here. Uh, water mill would be a good idea. Either that, what's a cataphract? Oh, that's a horseman replacement, okay. Um, Right. Now typically what I'll do is I'll set up a bunch of trade routes that send food back to my capital city. Um, 
I think that would be kind of pointless in this game. Maybe I'll use them to send production to the capital city this time. Uh, that requires workshops in the cities. Um, yeah, water mill. Uh, okay, on we go. So that was a, a science uh, quest from the city-state, and it was a three-way tie for the uh, lead on that. Okay, a couple turns, I'll be able to go after that, and with the swordsman it should clear faster. Stronger unit and all. Uh, so that's a water mill there. Um, right, what to build here? Uh, I think a granary would be good. Uh, to get maximum science, you want large cities because science uh, improvements based on the population of the cities. Ah. Right. Okay, that's one hit. Two hits, done. And I can buy a building with faith. I'll go for the pagoda here. Uh, if you've got a... Uh, a city that's near another civilization that uh, has a religion uh, where they might try to spread it. You want to get your uh, faith buildings out ASAP uh, so that uh, they don't come along and uh, suddenly be the majority religion in your city and next thing you know you can't build your buildings anymore. Now on the upside, once you've built them, you still have them and they still give you the benefits. Uh, what to uh, do here? Well, I think the thing to do is uh, connect that connect uh, Antioch up to Adrianople uh, and I've built me a wonder here uh, there isn't anything else any other wonder type things to be building there so um, I think a library be good that'll improve the science uh, construction uh, do I have somewhere I can trade with that's worth doing uh, get me eight gold. That'll be worth doing. Now, uh, what did I say? Oh, right. There's a. If the uh, Arabs haven't cleared that already, I should go for that one. Oh, Panama wanted a trade route, apparently. I'd forgotten about that. Okay, I'm going to get mathematics next turn here. Okay. And what was I going to do? How was I going to build this road? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to be six no matter how I do it. So I'll build the road there just because it's on the hills. It'll improve the movement uh, equation. Uh, okay, what to build here? Currency could be good. Oh, yeah, I definitely want currency. Because either because Varna or Antioch would be good, um, good cities to build Petra in. Uh, so definitely that's the uh, thing to do um, no I'm not going to do the declaration of friendship thing 
Um, I used to do that all the time, but I found that it caused more trouble than it was worth. Uh, so it locks me out of being able to have uh, um, uh, science uh, research agreements, but uh, it also avoids certain other potential complications. That bugger's probably going to uh, pillage, yeah, pillage the dies. Okay, where is he? Pillage the wheat, probably. Yeah. Okay, so I'll take a pot shot with the city, then I'll take him out with the swordsman, and I should take a look. Where did that bugger come from? That is the question. Oh well. So when this guy finishes the road, I'll repair these. Okay, that uh, clears that encampment. Um, okay, I got production here. Uh, built a shrine now for a monument and now I'm gonna call that the end of the part because I think my interruption is going to be arriving any minute now so uh, that's it for part three um, if you've watched this long uh, thanks for watching uh, I know it's tediously boring so you're obviously interested uh, so uh, I'll see you back next time in part four <laughs>